Hi guys, welcome back to a new episode of the PS2 Collector. I am your host, Gamer1994, and as you know, I'm on the hunt to collect every single PS2 game released worldwide. So at the moment, we currently have 110 out of 4,376 games. As I stated in my previous episode, I was on a holiday to Japan and I managed to pick up 30 games and I wanted to keep it in a three um, video series. Stay tuned, you do not want to miss this. Let's start off with game number 111 and that is Evergrace. Now, Evergrace came out in 2000 as a launch title for the PS2 and it came out in Europe a year later. So this game got mixed reviews. The negative thing about this game that it seemed outdated and there was a lot of lagginess with the game. Uh, but if you look past that, there is fun to be had. If you are fans of GRPGs and you're not giving Evergrace a go, please give this game a go because it seems to be a hidden gem on the PS2. Um, so this game I started for did come out worldwide, but in my opinion, the Japanese version has a better cover and it's more cheaper than the Western counterparts. So if you look at the West prices, you're paying double the amount as the Japanese version. So yeah, that's my opinion. Go for the Japanese version. And that's game number 111, Evergrace. Game number 112 is another sports title. And as you know, I'm a huge hater of golf. Shout out to Doc. As you know, golf's not my favorite sport, never will be, despite the sport with passion. And this game here is everybody's golf. And whilst looking at the reviews, it did get decent reviews due to how easy it is to play. But yeah, if you do enjoy your golf games, give this game a go, you might enjoy it. And if you look at the reviews, it did get positive reviews. So yeah, that's game number 112, only paid 198 yen. Everybody's golf 3. Game number 112. Game number 113 and 114. So I'm just doing two games at once because they're part of the same franchise. And that is Jiyuku 12 and Jiyuku 11. So as you know, these characters were a huge success in Japan. And yet yeah, they stayed there because the success is always there. If you went to the West, it would have bombed which again makes sense, as I stated in my previous video, it makes sense that this game was only released in Japan. But yeah, if you do enjoy a baseball game, especially basic ones, or if you want fun with the family, this game is a must play. Jiyuku 11 and Jiyuku 12, game number 113 and 114. So I paid for Jiyuku 11, I only paid 568 yen, and for Jiyuku 12, 698 yen, so yeah, reasonably priced, not bad. The next game is a game that if you know, you know. So in Japan, this thing called Pachinko is part of the culture into days and day life of Japanese citizens. And as you know, PlayStation took advantage of that, especially in the Pachinko Parlor. So what a Pachinko Parlor is, to make it easy for you, is like a slot machine. So you must connect these same pictures, figurines, whatever, three things in a row and you earn prizes and they put that on the PS2, only released in Japan, it makes sense, it will not get released in Europe whatsoever, which is completely understandable and that is Daito's Pachinko. So yeah, if you do enjoy your slot games or if you want to have fun playing these games, give it a go. Game number 115, Daito Pachinko, 198 yen. Cheaper though, cheaper though. Game number 116 is, well, it's not Jeff Harder, it's Willow Wisp. And yet, this game is a visual novel. It seems to be a romantic visual novel, but the looks of it, a bit of vampire theme into it. But yeah, if you enjoy your Twilight, which I don't, I'm not a big fan of Twilight, but if you do enjoy your Twilight, give Willow Wisp a go. This game only cost me about 680 yen, which is £4.50. And if you do enjoy your visual novels, the best way to play these games, in my opinion, you must get a translator app with a picture. So if you take a picture, it translates everything, but be aware, 
not all translation apps do the best translations but anyway game number 116 willow wisp game number 117 is a football manager type of game but in japanese japanese version of it and that is j league tactics manager so what the j league is it's an equivalent to the premier league of england so the premier league of japan is the j league so in this game you be a manager you have to choose formations pick what player you want to sign pick what player you want to sell so yeah it's like a real life simulation manager game so if you play your football manager games and you're a huge fan of that genre give this game a go but be aware it is japanese i'm sure it may have an english uh, language option but i will not be made aware of that but yeah if you do enjoy those kind of games try out j league tactics manager simulation you won't be disappointed because the j league has some really good quality players so this, since i was in japan Sazero osaka are a proper popular team there and yeah I had to pick this up because again, big fan of football and again, it has the 2002 World Cup ball at the front cover as well. So you can't go wrong with this. Only 198 yen. Game number 117. Game number 118 is another particular game but with a different theme. And that is Fist of the North Star Pachinko. For me, the game I don't care about the game, but the front cover, the artwork on that, just look at that, the artwork on it is absolutely excellent, the amount of detail, you just don't get this kind of artwork anymore, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, so this Pachinko game is based on Fist of the North Star, which is a huge anime in Japan, and a hugely successful one at that, and it got a game, a Pachinko version of the game, where again, you pull a slot machine, you must get three things in a row, three items in a row, or put check in a row to win prizes. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the the game CD as well as look at the look at the artwork on that manual. Brilliant. And yeah, that's game number 118. Fistle and Nostra Pachinko. Game number 119 is another visual novel. It's called SYK. Don't know why. But the game's cover, again, these Japanese covers, you can tell the Japanese did really, really well to make their front cover stand out. So it's another visual novel. I'm not sure what the genre is about. But yeah, if you're into visual novels, give this game a go. SYK. It doesn't cost that much, only 145 yen, which is like 70p. But if you're going to collect every single PS2 game like me, you've got to hunt all these visual novels down because there's some out there don't even have a Wikipedia page, but I'm dedicated enough to get these games into my collection. And yeah, game number 119 SYK. And the final game of this video is, is, is a limited edition of sort. When I got it, I got a comic book with it which is better than nothing in my opinion. The game's called Lovely Complex. So yeah, it's another, again, with the Japanese visual novels, it's very popular there. It's another visual novel. And yeah, um, let's open it up. It comes with, look at the design of the CDs and the manual. Just, wow, that's all I can say. And what it came with, a comic book. Check this out, do you, like in, in back in the days, in PS2, where we got with the game, we either threw away or we kept it on a shelf and got lost over time. But the Japanese, they took care of their stuff. You gotta give them crap credit with that. So yeah, this is the artwork on the comic book. Absolutely phenomenal that you got a comic book with this. But again, if you wanna read through it, you have to get a translator. This game cost me about nearly 2,000 yen, which is about 10 pounds. Again, for the price for a comic book and a game bargain and that my friends is the end of this video game number 120 so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you want to see more content like this please subscribe if you want to see where my channel goes on click on the notification bell below anyways guys until next time and don't forget to subscribe take care guys